So I was kind of excited here walking some uh, houses that are under construction. This particular one, it's 2,500 square feet of truly livable space. And I, I'm going to take a knock at that. You will know the real estate rules don't allow you typically to include a basement in the square footage of a house. So you'd list it, say, at 1,250 square feet. But when you have truly 1,250 square feet of livable space in a truly livable lower level, that's really exciting. But I got to prove to you why it's truly livable space. First, there's this two inch of spray foam tight to the concrete wall that extends all the way underneath the basement floor. In front of that are 20 bat, 22 bats. In the thermal resistance, therefore, of this wall is R30, which makes this wall, this basement, much warmer. You don't get that cold, cold feeling that typically comes off the concrete floors, the concrete walls. On the above grade portion of this basement wall, this is a bit of a lookout basement, you have this really interesting product that's a laminate. You don't see it on the back side, but the OSB, the oriented strand board, the structural element of the house, is laminated to this R7 foam board so that you have a thermal break at every one of these studs so that the total thermal resistance value of the above grade walls is in the R27 to R30 range. Again, tremendous ability to maintain or keep or retain that heat. And then I want to show you one other interesting part the smart duct system. Most systems you'll see the sheet metal return system, but this is the supply system, these small diameter ducts. These ducts are 100% sealed. Most sheet metal ductwork leaks at the rate of 20 to 25%. Why is that an issue? Specifically in the summertime. Your air conditioner is running. If the ducts are leaking, all that cold air is coming into the basement where you actually don't need any air conditioning. And so you get this problem where you're trying to get the upstairs warm, the downstairs, the basement is cold, and you net that cool air never gets upstairs because you have roughly 20% leakage. So smart ducts really good thermal performance on the walls, really good ther thermal performance on the uh, basement floor, and you end up with tremendous thermal comfort that most people don't even know is possible. So in summary, this is a level of comfort that most people don't think is even possible in what we call low living area, but historically is called basements. You, you convert that cold, dark, musty, smelly basement into a warm, dry, bright, truly livable space. So if you're doing your calculations on square footage, don't just limit it to the upper floor. Look for truly livable space. You've doubled the usable square footage and therefore reduce the per square foot cost of your house in half, cut it in half. And that kind of neat with three simple features.